Welcome to Investment Insights. Today, we have Head of Delegated Solutions, Brian Kearney with us. Welcome, Brian. Thank you, Ivy. 2020 is now officially behind us. How did global markets perform? Yes, it's certainly a year for the history books. From an investment perspective, it ended up being a positive year with global share markets up 13% and bond markets up over 5%. The end result, of course, doesn't tell the full story. This was a year comprised of three distinct movements. Markets started 2020 on a strong footing with good corporate earnings numbers and supportive government policies in most major economies. This was promptly swept away by the emergence of COVID in Europe and America in mid-February and the global lockdowns that soon followed. Markets reacted swiftly with global shares losing over 30% of their value during the course of the next month. Governments were quick to act, coordinating stimulus policies to promote economic activity on a scale which has never been seen before. This turned markets around as investors began to look past the near-term effects of the pandemic and turned their focus to the valuations in light of the lockdown. This renewed investor confidence led to record-breaking returns, with global shares returning over 60% from mid-March to the end of the year. The New Zealand government announced that we should expect vaccines to be delivered to some New Zealanders in the second half of the year. What impact will the rollout of a COVID-19 vaccine have on the local and overseas markets? The timing of the vaccine rollouts globally is likely to be one of the key investment themes of 2021. Here in New Zealand, we're fortunate that our economic activity isn't as dependent on a vaccine as it is in other countries. But it should allow our borders to reopen, leading to tourism, which will help lift the valuations of some of the property and infrastructure assets so badly affected by the pandemic. Overseas, it's quite a different story. Many major economies are still hampered by the ongoing lockdowns and strain on their healthcare systems. An effective vaccine is clearly much needed in these regions. We'll be keeping a close watch on the effectiveness of the vaccines and subsequent government responses, looking to invest where the economic activity benefits most. 2021 is already shaping up to be an interesting year, with the Brexit saga coming to an end and the tumultuous change in US president election. What is the market outlook for this year? Our outlook is broadly positive, noting that we expect pockets of economic weakness to continue over the next few months as the vaccines are rolled out. With Brexit finally behind us, investors are able to focus on the economic impact of trade policies and other elements of a post-Brexit world with a little more certainty. This is likely to benefit riskier assets. The US election is also behind us, and despite the capital riots, Biden was sworn in as president and has already implemented some significant policies. Political views aside, this has given investors a degree of calm and certainty, which is generally beneficial for markets. We've reflected this view in our portfolio positioning by allocating more to growth assets in our Mercer funds. 